We've all seen these tips and tricks videos and they always have the same old recycled tips we've seen again and again. Well, today I have 10 tips and tricks for the Apple Watch and I guarantee there will be at least one tip you've never seen before. So let's just get into it. One of the key features of the Apple Watch is the ability to find your lost iPhone by making it play a rather obnoxious tone. Now, that's a great feature and one that our very own Mike Agarbo uses pretty much every hour here in the studio. But say you've lost your phone in the dark, like outside at night. Well, by swiping up and long pressing on the Find My icon, you can get your iPhone to illuminate its flashlight as well as play the tone, giving a visual indicator as to where your phone is. If you live in a place with a big tipping culture like in the States or here in Canada, you know the importance of being able to calculate tips on the fly. But if you're like me and hopeless at maths, you need a quick and easy way to calculate the right tip. Well, luckily that's built into the stock calculator app on the Apple Watch. Just go into your app drawer, click on the calculator app, put in the total amount for the bill and hit the tip button. Then using the digital crown, you can input what percentage you want to tip and also how many people it's being split across. Once you put in that info, you'll be able to see what the total is and how much tip you're giving. It couldn't be easier. With iOS 14.5, you can now use your Apple Watch to unlock your iPhone using Face ID when you're wearing a mask. To do this, all you need is an iPhone with Face ID and an Apple Watch Series 3 or later with Watch OS 7.4 or later. Just go into your settings app, head to Face ID and passcode, input your passcode, scroll down to unlock with Apple Watch and select your Apple Watch. Now, this is super cool, but Apple have actually announced that with iOS 15.4, you'll be able to unlock your iPhone while wearing a mask without the need of an Apple Watch. So that kind of makes this tip a little redundant. Well, bonus tip, you can actually use your Apple Watch to unlock your Mac too. All you need is a Mac running Mac OS Sierra 12.12 or later. Just head to your system preferences, go to security and privacy, click the lock to make changes, then tick the box next to, use your Apple Watch to unlock apps and your Mac. So one of the great things about the Apple Watch is being able to swap out your watch faces and customize them to look and function whatever way you like with different colors, fonts, and complications. However, the stock options for the Apple Watch, while nice, are very limited. So what if you want to fully customize your watch? Maybe you want a Star Wars watch face, or maybe one from Back to the Future. Or you want to create your own watch face from scratch. Well, that's where Clockology comes in. It's an app that lets you add any watch face you like and has a wonderful community behind it that's constantly creating new watch faces and answering questions. It's a little complicated to go through in this video, but luckily for you, John created a video going through the process in detail. So you can just head over to our channel and see how to install it for yourself. You may or may not know that you can use the Apple Watch as a viewfinder for your iPhone camera. And this is great if your iPhone is set up somewhere out of reach and you still wanna be able to trigger a photo or video. But a way that I like to use it is to attach the watch straight to the phone itself so I can still see the framing while using the rear cameras. This is great if you wanna get those big family group shots because let's be honest, the rear cameras are objectively better than the front facing camera. And this still lets you use the self timer. So this feature is on by default, but you may not know it. If you've ever raised your watch in a dark theater by accident, you may have tried pulling your sleeve over your watch or hiding it in your pocket to avoid embarrassment. Well, don't worry. Next time that happens, just give your watch a little slap and it'll go right back to sleep. Just like this. Not only is it easy, but it's also pretty satisfying. Now, technically speaking, you don't actually have to slap your watch. You can just calmly place your hand over the watch face and it will dim and mute and also will draw less attention, but it's not nearly as fun. Oh, bonus tip. You can avoid the embarrassment in the theater by just using the theater mode. Just swipe up from the watch face and hit the little comedy and tragedy mask icon. This will prevent the display from waking up when you raise your wrist, turn on silent mode, and also makes your walkie-talkie status unavailable. So maybe just use that next time. 
Believe it or not, but you can actually take screenshots of your Apple Watch. All you have to do is open the Watch app on your iPhone, head into General, and scroll to Enable Screenshots. Then, to actually take the screenshot, just press the digital crown and the side button at the same time. The screenshot will then be automatically loaded into your Photos app. You may wonder, when would you ever need to take a screenshot of your watch? But just last week, before I knew about this tip, I spent about five minutes trying to take a photo of my watch face <laughs> when screenshotting it would have been so much faster. As most Apple users know, a Siri can be a bit of a hassle at the best of times. And no one wants to be that person yelling, hey Siri, at their iPhone or watch. Well, there's a more discreet way you can get her attention. All you have to do is raise your wrist up and start talking, and Siri will pick up on what you're saying, just like this. What time is it in France? In Paris, France. It's 8.58 p.m. Not bad. And here's another little bonus tip. You can extend the amount of time your watch face is awake from 15 seconds to 70 seconds. Just head into your watch app, down to display and brightness, and scroll down to wake duration. From there, you can extend it to 70 seconds. So this one is a personal favorite of mine, and that's using your Apple Watch as a wireless microphone. Getting good, clean audio is so important when shooting video. And sometimes you're just not able to get close enough to your phone for the mics to pick you up. Well, to get this set up, all you need, aside from your Apple Watch, is the stock charger that came with it. Just remove the band from your watch, place the charger behind whatever shirt you're wearing, this works best for lighter garments like t-shirts and dress shirts, and place your Apple Watch on the charger. The magnet from the charger will keep it in place. Then just open up the Voice Notes app on your watch, hit record, and you're ready to go. One crucial thing to remember is to do a clap sync when you have both your video and your audio recording. This will make it 100 times easier to sync up the two sources in post. When you're done recording, it will appear in your Voice Notes app on your phone under a new folder called Watch Recordings. Okay, so now you are listening to the audio that is coming straight off the Apple Watch. And because it's not connected to the camera, I can walk around as much as I want, and I'm still gonna get crisp and clear audio uh, the entire time. So there you go, try it out. Last and most definitely least is using your Apple Watch as a wildly overpriced AirTag. Yes, this one is kind of silly and works best with a cellular Apple Watch, but just hear me out. While the Apple Watch doesn't contain the same ultra-wideband technology that AirTags have, whenever an Apple Watch is connected to a network, it will provide an accurate live location. This means that if you're ever in a pinch when traveling and have an item like a backpack or a purse that you want to be able to track, you can just toss your Apple Watch in there with it and if it ever gets lost or stolen, you'll be able to track it and get directions to its location. So, in the end, it may end up being worth it. And that's it. If you know of any tips that we didn't mention today, please let us know in the comments section. I spent quite a while researching this video, so I'd love to hear any tips you may have that I didn't come across. And if you made it this far into the video, I have one more bonus tip. If you head over to shine.com or .ca, they have an incredible host of Apple Watch bands for insanely low prices. We're not affiliated with them at all, so we're not getting any sort of kickback. We're just big fans. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. My name is Robin, and if you're a Mac user, check out this video we did where we showed you how to use iOS and iPadOS apps on your Mac right here.